Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is a 10 minute abs workout. We've got 10 exercises, 40 seconds per move, 20 second rest in between each one. Um, everyone's different and we're just, all you need really is a mat or a towel and we're gonna take it nice and easy and really focus on good controlled breathing and good techniques. Really fire these abs up, get deep into the core and really improve our strength. So the first thing I wanna do is a plank. So we're gonna go onto our front. Now elbow plank, options. You can do them from the knees, like this, where you're just gonna stay in that position there, where you're bracing the core, drawing your belly button up towards the spine, and the elbows are just stacked under the shoulders. If you've got a bit more strength in the core, we're gonna lift and hold. So knees are just off the ground, soft quads, tight abs. Ready, let's go. So lift, 40 seconds in. The key here is to just breathe through it. So don't hold your breath. We're trying to get the back nice and flat. We don't want our elbows too far in front of us like this. We don't want our bum up here like this in the air. Shoulder, um, elbows are stacked underneath the shoulders. Knees are slightly bent. And we're just off the ground, just hovering above the ground there. And abs are engaged now. Bring the belly button up towards your spine. So inhale, exhale, suck them up. Inhale, exhale, suck them up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And relax, awesome, right. Great start. So we've fired them up, we've activated the muscles. Now we're going to do a 10, not, not 10, a 40 second um, plank from a high plank position. So a high plank here. And what we're going to try and do now is bring the knee out towards the elbow. So watch like this. You go knee to elbow and back. Knee to elbow and back. Off we go. So we're trying to bring the knee out to the side. You're going to really feel your <sighs> obliques work. That's too difficult to just hold this high plank. So just hold the hand under the shoulders again, hold this position, abs are tight, making it tougher obviously by bringing that knee out to the elbow. Tap the elbow and back. Tap the elbow. Cool. Feel that one. Really feel that one. 15 seconds left. So out to the side and round. You've really got to fight against your against gravity there, because your body's trying to arch, you've got to really fire them up, turn them on. Good exercise. Next thing I want to do is a side plank pulse. These are horrible. I don't like these ones, but they're good. So what we're going to do is knees together if you're a beginner. And what we're going to do is from here, we're going to pulse up and down. So you're going to feel that work in the right side. If you can, we go for the full pulse. Okay, so you're lifting yourself right up the, off the ground. You can obviously use your hand to support yourself slightly, but you want to lift and contract with those side obliques. So drop, lift, drop, lift. Oh, it's so hard. If that's also too difficult, you can just do a hold, a static hold, but the pulses really hit it. <sighs> 10 seconds. Ah, oh, it's nearly impossible for me. Last couple. That is a horrible exercise. So much hard on this holding it, right? So same again, other side. If that's too tight, I found it really difficult. You can do it from the knees. You're still gonna fit, just push your hips forwards. Nice straight line, and from there, you're gonna lift up from there. So same exercise, just a bit less resistance. Oh, that was horrible. Okay, so lift. So you can just put your hand on your hand, or you put it on the side. And just sort of support yourself, but try and use those obliques to lift up. So dip the hips to the floor, lift up. Hips up. Oh. Oh, I can't talk. Oh. Oh. 20 seconds. Oh, this is the most uncomfortable exercise known to man. Okay, last few reps. Lift. It does target the obliques, it really works these muscles. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Ow! Ah, oh, that's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. Right, we're now gonna be laying flat on our back. This is number five now. So knees bent, feet on the floor. Fingers together like this, and we're just gonna come up. And we're just trying to pulse. And get our fingertips through the knees there. So inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. 
It's a tiny little move. We're not coming into a full, not coming into a full sit up like this. It's just a pulse. So pulse, feet it through the, through the knees if you can. Ooh, keep going. Ooh, that's it. So there's no, there's no, we're not really rocking with the arm, we're not sort of swinging ourselves up, we're just very gently pulsing. Ooh, fingertips driving right through. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay, number seven, no, that's number five, sorry. Number six, right foot on the floor, left leg bent. What we're gonna do here is come up, and we're gonna try and come up and touch oh, that toe. So we're gonna come up and across and sort of front. Up and across, touch the toe, and back down. Let's go. So this, this elbow can stay on the floor. Don't push too much off it though. Just let, let it be a, a little guide. But you're really trying to bring the arm up and across the cup, shoulders off the ground. Oh, twist slightly. So come with that right hand, coming across the body to the left foot. 20 seconds left. Yeah, feeling this one now. Feeling this a lot. 10 seconds. Arm comes back. Crunch up. Uh, last one. Uh, oh. That's, that does hit him. Right, left leg bent now, right leg straight. So this left arm's gonna come from the ground. We're coming up and we're touching that toe, you know, the toe of the shin. And really stretch, stretching the length from the abs. And then contract and sort of inhale on the way down, exhale up. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale down, exhale, punch up. Oh yeah, I said this is getting the abs. This is working now. And when you crunch up, can you sort of lower that, slowly lower yourself, not collapsing down. Just control it slightly on the way down as well. Oh. Last 10 seconds. Oh. 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 That's a good one. Okay, number eight. We're gonna do some reverse crunches now. So we're gonna lay flat on the ground. This is when our head lays on the ground. Head flat on the ground. And we're gonna bring our knees to our chest. So we go heels to floor. Knees to chest, off we go. So head and shoulders down the ground, knees into the chest. Take them as far away as you can, and then drive them in. Oh, that's killing me off. So stretch them as far as you can, and then knees come towards the chest. Reverse, crunch, get the hips off the ground. That's what the effort is. So on that lowering face, or don't let the back arch, take the feet as far away as you can from you. And then from there, you drive them in and hips off the ground. Last few seconds. Oh. Oh. It takes your breath away, that one. Right, we've got two more to go. We're standing on the mat for the next one as well. It's popping, hands are popping. So we're going to have our legs up to 90 degrees like this, hands like this, and we're just going to pulse and just slide. Oh. Slide our hands along the floor, yeah? Here we go. So we're just keeping the legs bent to 90 degrees and trying to slide the fingers as far away as you as possible and back. It's a tiny little movement. Look straight up at the ceiling on the sky. Keep crunching. Tiny movement. It's cramping. Proper. Have a little rest you need to. Keep them up, crunch again. So slide them and down. Slide those fingertips, really crunch. Fingertips slide away and back. Ah, ow. Okay, final move while our abs are fatigued. I want to finish on a plank. So an elbow plank, wherever everything's already quite tight, this is going to feel really hard. So 40 seconds if you can, off the knees. Remember, think about this, brace, brace your core and bring it all up, suck it all up like a corset, pull it up and towards your spine. Last 40 seconds, let's go. So knees are just off the ground, elbows are stacked under the shoulders, and we're not pulsing, we're not moving, we're not having a bump in the air. It's a plank. 
So contract those abs, like squeeze those abs, squeeze them all in, tighten them, and then think about those deeper muscles from the belly button up. Exhale, suck it up. Inhale, exhale, tummy flat. Now visualize that flat tummy and pull it all up. Pull it all up, you've got 10 seconds. Ouch. Inhale, exhale, pull it up. Inhale, exhale, suck it up. Hold it. Ah. I feel like my ribs are like, I feel like the muscles are bulging out in my ribs. So painful. Oh, there we go. It's a great little thing to do at the end of a workout. It's a good little bolt onto a sit hit session or a strength session. And you're really going to feel some benefits from that, from those planks, you know, really strengthen those deeper core muscles that's going to help, you know, with your other exercises, your, your squats, your lunges, your, your burpees, press up, deadlifts, all those exercises use everything come through the core. So really well done. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, there's loads of abs workouts on the app. There's loads of other workouts on the YouTube channel. Check out thebodycoach.com and uh, good luck with your next workout. Take care.